Welcome back to The Case of the Golden Idol, the detective puzzle game about figuring out who was murdered, who did it, and what the general story is. So we're met with three men discussing something and an outsider. Keep your mouth shut, boy. Your father committed a murder and cannot be forgiven. Undoubtedly, his highness will demand your life. You got a red key and a to-do list. Position guards outside the chamber of trials during the test in the morning. Only my children and the priest must be allowed in there. The priest forbids the presence of any Westerners during the ritual, but we do not wish to insult a man of the Seven Seas Company. Entertain Albert Cloudsley, Esquire, by showing him the gardens during the ceremony. Meanwhile, allow nobody to enter the ritual hall except me, my children, the Lemurian delegation, and our noble blade master. Cease your threats, lank and lackey. I'm not to blame for my father's deception, but perhaps this is the price we pay for our stagnating culture. I beg you, cease to request that we meet. You know it is unwise. Venerable Yupik's watchful eyes notice everything. He is your father and you know his character. He will not tolerate such transgression. I'm a mere servant and must know my place. I can never be a part of the Kara family from Ari. A bunch of people I don't know. Do not worry, young Lemurian. If it is meant for you to die today, it will be by my hand and swift. I have killed many people for the right and wrong reasons, such as the Dharma of the Warrior. A falchion? And a note. My tiger, have you found anything that might help me earn my rightful title? Then you can be by my side forever. Leave it in the bush by the pyre. That insufferable Putra has his dog search our things regularly, so we must be careful. Your moonlight, and soon your queen. Thought the search in a bush later. And then this is Albert Cloudsley. I recognize you. I did not expect my first Seven Seas assignment to conclude so shockingly. No wonder these savage countries need to be civilized. I don't know if I'd go that far. I mean, look at these freaking temples they got built. This is a whole lot of politics. So the Seven Seas Company wants to establish a trading outpost to get four locally produced pigments. And then the pigment names and descriptions are here. I may have to reference this later. And then he gifted them a statue and is told to try to blend in, as in pretend to be a devil worshiper. There's also an associate travel guide navigating by star. Once you are facing the North Star, you are facing North. Navigate by crescent moon. Imagine a line joining the endpoints and down into the horizon. That direction is south. So south is to the, to the left of here. Important. And this is kind of culturally getting them ready for the travel. This island has been divided in three kingdoms each. Jaffna, Gamni, and Vijaya. We got to learn a whole freaking culture with this. A diagram. Put a present on a spoon into the mouth. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. Got tobacco, a tobacco pipe, and another note. It does not say who it's from, but three directions. Ignore whatever rubbish central office has suggested. Befriend Putra and place the gift in the location is instructed on the wrapping paper it is meant to be a surprise. So we're surprising the people of this island with the gift into a mouth, probably of a statue. And there's several rooms to look at. Oh, it's a dead man. Dead woman. Huge wound across her abdomen, beneath an apron, not breathing. Wow, that is visceral. There is a mixture of blood and red paint on the wound. But this is a stiff ornamented apron made of wood. What the hell, was this set up? Or was she genuinely slashed and then they're just laying her here? Written on November 15th, Tomorrow is the big day and my heart trembles with anticipation. If Tissa passes the test, I will not feel I have failed. I will witness his ritual of blade with joy in my heart. For none is braver and wiser and worthier than him to inherit father's responsibilities. If I happen to be picked, I will bow my head in humble appreciation of this great honor. And there's like a newspaper or something. This was brought from the outside world and then they wrote on it, the best way to learn this language is by looking at the Seven Seas Company gift to the Raha. This is what the Islanders wrote on it and they're learning the language. So all these clues that I'm getting are gathered down here and can be inputted into this panel. The left side is the overall story, middle is the characters, and there is a plenty of material to be discovered. It's possible this dead woman is Tissa, but also not. I'm not going to make any assumptions. Someone praying. May you travel from darkness to light, from death to immortality, dear sister. Death is a mere illusion that appears to those who cannot grasp absolute reality. 
This is most likely Tissa, because there's a similar note saying tomorrow is the great day, the ritual hall will be opened, and Anola and I will be evaluated. So that's probably the dead woman. May light guide my sister in the test, for she is worthy of the title. If fate judges me to be the one, then I'm ready to undergo the journey through the blade to the sun and back again to claim my birthright. So there was a test, and one of them was to supposedly be killed, then revived, is what I'm gathering. So this is Tissa. This is Anola. Don't know their last names. What about this note? I suggest you do your language practice while observing the Seven Seas company gift to Raha. Similarly written, so someone gave this to both of them. Here's his statue. I thought there'd be something in here, but there is a bush. Someone referenced it earlier. Did not get precise answers, but this will help. One, rotate the line every fourth same color, circle, circle, square. Two, the number of horizontal lines multiplied by six. Three, is easy, just look carefully. I will know what that means in time. But it's interesting, you can tell the difference between the uh, Islanders writing and the outside world's writing. Who is referencing the bush? Was it you? His wife or girlfriend wanted information to help pass the test, and he left the information to help pass the test to her. So he's cheating. Yes. What about this dome? Oh, well, I see where the wound came from. Oh, oh my. What on earth? That is brutal. Oh, so I can control contraptions. That crushing then. Possible crushing contraption. You are not breathing. Blue paint on your fingers and hand with three notes. Dear diary, I believe I finally found love after all these years. I wonder if I can leave my servitude and marry this brave fighter. The poor boy will be heartbroken, but he should have understand a long time ago that I have no interest in him. Wants to get out of relationship into a new one. My tender petal. So this is from the tiger. I spend my nights restlessly thinking about your sweet lips and eyes. Let us meet again at midnight on 12 November in the orchard garden. Orchid garden. There we can have privacy to share love and secrets. Your warrior, giant. And real quick, I mean, we can figure that's giant. And whoever wrote that letter is now crushed inside this. What about this last note? The hall will be unlocked the morning they take the test. When the winner is revealed, we will lock it again. The evening before the ritual, lock yourself inside and set everything up. Remember to prepare the apron for the one who succeeds. The red paint is in the vase from Yupik. So I don't know if this is the hall or if somewhere else is the hall. There's a note on the wall. The following people are only are allowed in the ritual hall on November 16th. During the testing procedure in the morning, the Lemurian priest and the potential heirs, so the brother and sister are taking the test along with the priest. During the ritual of the blade in the evening, there's the Lemurian delegation, the royal family, the spied master and the blade master. So my idea is like two people take the test. This hand is raised, so the spotted shirt wins the test. Whoever wins the test gets sliced open, but then comes back to life which is absolutely brutal, but then has become the king or heir or whatever. So Anola won the test. And is this one of the tests? There's aphid ink. Oh, and some sort of puzzle. Now this is cryptic. I'll get back to deciphering this eventually. So then we got the purple ink. It's a very similar, it's the same test. I wonder if I can solve this real quick. So first off, there's multiple patterns. There's a color pattern. Very repeating colors. It's always white, gold, red, darker color, like dark red, dark brown. After that is white again. But then there seems to be a separate pattern with circles, squares, and directions of lines. Actually, there's a separate pattern. It goes circle, circle, square, circle, circle, square, circle, circle, square, circle, circle. So I imagine it's the top left one. There also seems to be a pattern with the line is vertical, slanted, horizontal, slanted the other way, vertical. So it is definitely this circle. How many triangles are in this? Well, you can break this up into triangles of three separate height. From the tip to this line, from the tip to this line, and the tip to this line. Of those three sections, they all have the same amount of triangles. So you just count the amount in one section, multiply it by three. And then if we're to label the triangles on top as one, two, and three, you could say there's a triangle in one, a triangle in two, a triangle in three, a triangle in the combination of one and two, a triangle in the combination of two and three, and the triangle in the combination of all three, which is six total triangles per height times three is 18. That's also correct. And then rotating the shape, uh, I'm pretty terrible at that. They got the first two right. I wouldn't be surprised if this is also right. Because I'm looking 
this test here, both of the left two ones are wrong. I think I remember the clue for this one was just look at it. And I think from looking at it, this is also correct. So I didn't actually fully examine you because in here, there's also this row me in the eye. What are you up to? And who are you exactly? Now there's another room over here. <laughs> room is a clue I've got, huh? Oh, it's a bunch of insects in a glass box. Small spider, scorpion, cricket, centipede, beetle. What else? Now there's a drawer below the deadliest arthropods of Lanka. Oh, and it talks about the descriptions. I'll come back to this because I wouldn't be surprised if maybe one of these potential bugs got somebody. Wait, is one missing? All five are in here. I don't know if one got out, but there's a desk with a note. Whoa, master, we found this poem and picture in the palace garbage. This was not hard to decode, but the method is curious. So it's a secret to someone who will be heir. There's sector ink. There's a note that says, seems dubious, can I trust him? Dear Putra, I did my best to seduce that Lemurian servant girl from Sukara family so we could obtain su successful results for the young prince in the test. Surprisingly, she was not charmed by my advances. I do not know what is wrong with her. Royal Blaymaster G. So G was not liked by the servant girl because she likes this guy, possibly. How about this island? Oh, all right, it talks about Lanka Island and just the different locations. Let me real quick look at this map. I feel like actually I could start with the test. Anola filled the test in successfully. Tissa filled it in and failed. Their last name is probably their region. How can I figure out their region? Yeah, because in Albert Clausley's book, they're talking about how the people in each of the kingdoms have the last name of the ruler family. So last name is either Jaffna, Gamini, or Vijaya. So which last name do they have? Maybe if I want to find out their names, I got to check the last room. Well, this is the king. You wanted life for life, almost radiant and magnificent Raha. Has this information satisfy your needs? He's a small box with incense sticks. It says, for sharing the secret, I will allow your Zubiri to live, but he must join me on the journey as insurance for your honesty. You are free to leave with your delegation. What information? This information? Your magnificence. Some encoded correspondence is being exchanged between someone at the palace and somebody else. I do not like it and my spies are working overtime to discover who is behind this. I still believe it is safe for your children to undergo the test and for the chosen one to go through the rites of rebirth. The Lemurian saint confirms that the ritual is the same as when you were sworn in when you came of age. By day's end, you will have your heir, your highness, master son. And what's this? Magnificent Raha. I accept your invitation to facilitate the test and the initiation. Our delegation will arrive with the necessary equipment at the start of November. Regarding the Westerners, you already know that we strongly advise against trading with them. They do not understand the importance of Lemurian tradition and their ways are impure from the high priest. And he also has blue ink, Laqua ink. Oh boy, this is a lot. I mean, I know that this man's Albert Cloudsley, that's for sure. Oh, well, I just realized. I've got to figure out where I am by using the directions. This thing way up here in the distance, that corresponds to this item on the map. And according to this book, you navigate by crescent moon. So you're telling me this statue is to the south of us, which means we're in Kalusapur in the Gamini kingdom. So that means the people who took the test, their last name is Gamini. Let me make sure I understand this right. That is correct. So their last name is Gamini, and their father is the king, so his last name is also Gamini. Now, I could try to do the upper two as well. There's Lemurian delegation. Are those the three rulers of the kingdoms? So one of them is Gamini. One of them is Raha. The other is Spymaster. Third one is Blademaster. Well, we know the king was Raha. Everyone was referring to him as that. What's the name of the city? Right, Kluwisapur. Right there. So this guy is talking about your father committed a murder and cannot be forgiven. And because of that, he would die. However, we see that this would be the father and he is providing information to Raha in exchange to save his son's life. He is saying, I will allow your Zubiri to live. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. So this man is Zubiri. There also seems to be a Kara clan. So high priest of Kara clan, that's probably him. So his last name is Kara, and so is his son. There's not many people left. I do believe Jayan is Blademaster. He's holding the blade. 
So that would mean the guy with the umbrella is the spy master. And I want to point out, this bottom room is the king's locked room. This appears to be some sort of code. These notes are very similar to the ones owned by his two children. And it's the same note. And he recommends looking at the Seven Seas Company gift. There's some sort of coded message in here that's related to this coded message. It was easy to decode. Picture is the key. I see. So all the words highlighted relate to the lion somehow. It's a yellow lion. Ocelot. Well, I guess it's the most similar one. Untamed definitely relates. Wilderness relates. Impulsive lion, leap, beast, emperor, hunter, eat, instinct, roar. Yeah, they all relate to lion. What is the picture in here? I have to look at the company gift to the Raha. Well, it's a statue, right? This must be the statue actually below my face cam. I can tell because it has a seven on it, the seven seals. So infernal, fire, I, F, if, yelling, ordeal, unenviable, you, and this spells you, if you, guards, seems like a guard, agony, infernal, limbo, L, gale, maybe it's fear in the first line. I was thinking about that as I was reading it. So fear, agony, infernal, limbo, if you fail, lava, ominence, otherworldly, killer, L-O-O-K, look, ignited, nightmares, N, in, monstrous, yell, my, misery, odious, unclean, terror, horror, mouth, if you fail, look in my mouth. So he failed. Whose mouth is he supposed to look into? The statues? The kings? Alberts? I'll keep that in the back of my mind. For now, I got to figure out names. Blade Master G. So, Gian G is Blade Master. There's the servant girl from the Sukara family. Sukara. And it's from G to Putra. That's the second time I've seen Putra. Putra has the Raha's ear. So, this could be Putra. Putra's dog's searches things regularly. That sounds like a spy master type thing. So Putra is the spy master. I don't have last names yet. Well, maybe his name isn't Jian G, or maybe just G is the name of the blade master. That can make more sense. Okay, making it back to Albert. The letter is about strengthening relationships with Abhaya. That's a name. I'm pretty sure that's the Raha here. He's here specifically to establish trade with this guy. So he's Raha. And I have a feeling Lemurian delegation is actually different from Raha, Spymaster, Blademaster. I'm going to get rid of those. Does delegation also include his sons? Well, children. Ah, it's not even close. Oh, this has a list of people, which I assume aren't the same people. Nobody enters the ritual hall except for me, my children, the Lemurian delegation, which I guess is different from that, and our noble Blademaster. So Lemurian de delegation has nothing to do with the Raha or his children. Who is the Lemurian delegation then? Also, I'm kind of back on board with the Giant G thing, but delegation, what is the delegation? Oh, Master Spun Sun has the spies. So Sun is the spy master. Is this right? It is correct. Okay, future is Sun. And then what is the Lemurian delegation? I guess it could be the people of the Kara family. You are free to leave with your delegation. Yes, delegation is his family or clan or whatever. I am a mere servant and must know my place. I can never be a part of Kara family. From Ari. Ari is Sue Kara. I don't know if she's actually part of the delegation though. Yupik is his father. That means Yupik is this. And all the identities are correct. Fantastic. Yupik Kara. I guess I could try Ari Sue Kara for the delegation which is also correct. So now it's just the story. I know at the end, Putra's son was demanding Zubiri's life, but instead Zubiri's father revealed a secret in exchange. I was able to follow that much. There was also a death, and the death is probably Enola Gamini. Mm, but the bugs haven't amounted to anything yet. This guy has a red key. Is the, oh, there's a red lock on the bugs. So this guy had access to bugs. Did she die from bugs? They got blue ink on her fingers. Why is that? And what is the deal with throw me in the eye? 
Anyways, I want to point out the blue words I have. I've killed, loved, revealed, and seduced. Someone blanked someone using a blank. Now, out of all these options, the only blue word that actually makes sense is killed, maybe seduced, but probably not. Like, love someone using a penis? There's no penis. We're going to use kill. I'm starting to get an idea here. If Albert Cloudsley put a gift into the mouth, he also probably brought the notes that had like a cipher that told people to look into the mouth. So he probably put the gift into the mouth of the statue. Now, that gift may have been caught by the spy master. Spy master may have, you know, caught the cipher, so he probably snooped around and also caught the gift, which is these really deadly insects. So it was an insect that came from the mouth of the statue that was delivered by Albert Cloudsley. Oh, and this top half actually covers two deaths. Someone killed someone using one of the insects, and that resulted in another death. And the arthropods are either like, you know, it's, it's a merciful killer, except for sector spider. That's just feed only twice a week. After death, victim's body bloats like a balloon in minutes. That related? I'm gonna say the centipede bloats like a balloon. I feel like that's just relevant. I would say it's Ari who died. And then Anola died by accident? And maybe Yupik actually did kill? Oh god, I'm not even close. I need a better idea. Wait a second, maybe the blue ink is a clue. There's four different inks, and each may correspond to a different insect. So I gotta figure out which ink is on her finger. I mean, it's blue. So it's not aphid ink, it's not eusharic ink, and it's not sector ink. Therefore, it's laqua ink, harvested from the nesting crickets. Oh? Cricket bite stops heart quickly. Well, now we know, though, the cricket is correct. And now we're getting very close. I think what's wrong is whoever made the killing? Oh, whoever killed was the person who looked into the mouth, the person who failed, which is Tissa Gamini. Well, that was tough. Young Prince Tissa failed to pass the Lemurian test to become an heir. So, as advised by a secret correspondent, he took receipt of a bottle containing a deadly insect along with instructions delivered by Albert Cloudsley. Before the ritual, Tissa threw the bottle into the machine and murdered the Murian servant, Airy. She could not lower Princess Anola, and the princess died. So that's why she was in there. She was supposed to lower her so she wouldn't be slashed by the blade. Oh! So Albert Cloudsley brought about this death effectively. That's devious. Somehow the people of the Seven Seas knew about this gig. They knew about the secret servant in the box and they took her out so she couldn't save. Oh my gosh. He doesn't even know what he did. Well, what comes next, huh? We'll find out next time. The conclusion to the Golden Idol DLC coming soon. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day and peace.